music's still going. Here we go. Hello there, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to talk about Thaldrassus and the capital city of the Dragon Isles, uh, Valdraken. And we're going to break down all of the promotional material that was released with the Dragonflight reveal. Oh, yeah, look how pretty these zones look, man. shout out our sponsor of the video, and that is Curseforge. Today's video is sponsored by the Curse Forge app, the number one place to get add-ons for World of Warcraft. This is definitely my number one choice when it comes to installing add-ons. Curse it's Forge so easy is the and best. Seamless to install new add-ons and update existing add-ons. I've recently been trying to complete Lawmaster before the Dragonflight Alpha launches, and oh, I've been using an add-on called BTW Quest, okay, okay. which is an incredible add-on to yeah. really help with finding those quests that you're missing for your Lawmaster achievement. And that add-on can cover all versions of the game as well, so it's super helpful. And the best part is that downloading any add-on on CurseForge supports the add-on creator because <laughs> as you know add-on creation in World of Warcraft yeah, is a pretty Captain. thankless job and if we can passively support these add-on devs just by simply going onto the CurseForge app I think that's a win all round so be sure to check out my link in the description to download the CurseForge app today and thanks download once again the CurseForge, CurseForge, CurseForge app if you didn't this video okay so yes this is a breakdown of all the footage and images that we did get from the Dragonflight reveal I've also done a breakdown of the Azure span so if you want to check out that video you can check it out in the top right of the video right now or in the description below this video Video. Yeah, we'll so, check out that one. Let's jump into it. We don't have a ton of footage from Thaldrassus, but we do have a lot of images as well. So let's just jump into it with the first image, which is this concept art of Thaldrassus, which is really cool. Thaldrassus pretty is nice. pretty much the zone you saw in the cinematic for Dragonflight uh, with uh, Alex Straza and all of the like, you know, aqueducts and things like that. And it's a very, you, yeah, it's a cool zone. The developers described it as. A zone that's not ruined. It's, you know, a lot of this stuff in the Dragon Isles is ruins, and Thaldrassus and Valdraken are not so much ruins. They are complete buildings and things like that, which is actually really cool and makes the zone uh, a lot different to the others. Right. So this is our first piece Looks of footage nice. of Thaldrassus, and there's a lot to is break down night? here. So first and foremost, there are three different dragon flights featured in this image, uh, with a brand new oh, dragon shit. model as I well. Oh, shit. I didn't even we catch the ones at the bottom already, there. Uh, in some of the images as well, which we're going to take a look at. But as you can see, there is a green dragon on the bottom of the screen there there's also yeah. a bronze dragon and a black dragon looks like all the dragons are using a similar is that model black or red i thought it was I thought it was red uh, this is well, the home of the dragon as well so we're going to see a lot of dragons oh, yeah, in black. this footage uh, but as mentioned there's not a lot of ruins in this image i there's never caught no these two i've built. seen this image a couple times i never saw these two dragons down here blind buildings and complete kind of uh, architecture and things like that it, it does look like a really pretty zone and it's gonna be really cool to explore uh this once the alpha comes out uh also in this image you can see in the bottom there is a kind of like toolbuck looking things it's really hard to make out because they are very very small down there uh, but it looks like some sort of toolbox or dragon toolbox or something like that uh at the bottom of the screen just kind of grazing there among the dragons our next footage, I believe, is of the entrance of Valdraken, or kind of looking into Valdraken, which, as mentioned, Valdraken is the capital is the city. Capital city. Uh, you can okay. see two black dragons uh, kind of hovering there, the same model that we did see previously, and I'm pretty sure that's a bronze dragon at the back there. But just to the left of that bronze dragon is a banner, which is really cool. This looks like the kind of banner of the dragon flights, as it features all oh, of the yeah. colorations that you have of Damn, the Damn, I never flights, caught any of this of stuff. A... That's why I like watching these videos. I never noticed this. But yeah, look, it has the gem for every single dragon flight. Portal looking thing? I'm not really sure what that is specifically. We're going to see this banner around Val Dragon and around this zone uh, a couple times. So it definitely looks like something to do with the dragon flights. Our next shot actually looks like it was taken from the ground of the other shot, just kind of reversed and what's behind it. Uh, you can see a small kind of like temple area on the left hand side and some really this, cool looking. I don't know why this kind of reminds me of like, even though it's not that art style, Miss of Pandaria titan architecture you know the temple between the two cities they're very similar to like old war or storm peaks or things like that obviously without the snow uh, but yeah you can see some floating rocks as well kind of giving some of the grand vibes as well no npcs featured in this image however we do have the promotional shot of this as well from a different angle uh, this has a lot going on in this shot so let's talk about it so you have of course at the top, one of those brand new dragon models, the bronze dragon flight, uh, kind of flying in a circle there. On the right hand side, we also have a red dragon. Uh, now yeah. down at the bottom here, it looks like there's some like kind of new elemental model. I was going to say, it looks like an uh, elemental. Kind of like a ice elemental or water elemental or something like that, uh, which is really interesting. And just behind it is something really interesting as well. It kind of looks like a Sethrak. And obviously it isn't a Sethrak, uh, but it looks like it is using it's, that Sethrak. It's using the same skeletal model, it looks like. 
I bet you it's got some kind of dragon Etheric looking head. Rigging uh, for whatever creature this it is. It does Could look like a, a Sethrak, though. He's right. Dragon or something like that. Uh, but it does look like there are a couple of those featured on this kind of temple here, yeah. which is featured very prominently in this image. Also in the back left, looks like some sort of lizards or warp stalkers are also in this yeah, yeah. Uh, promotional art. So this is a Definitely really cool picture. I really like this. And as I said, this is just kind of another angle of what we saw. And also in the top as well, uh, you can see those aqueducts which were featured in the cinematic. But you can see them at the top with some water flowing down from those. So it's really cool to see uh, them in game from seeing them in the cinematic. You then get this shot of kind of like a cave system. In the video, the promotional video, the there. devs were talking about the cave systems of Thaldrasis. Um, yeah, not really too much to talk about here. Just some dragon bones. No NPCs featured or anything really of note to be honest it looks like maybe this is going to be like a darker area with some caves and kind of some creatures going on uh inside that zone but specifically it doesn't look like there's a ton going on with that but we move on to the bronze dragonfly area of thaldrasses which is so cool you get this kind of shot of like what looks like doorways and as the shot continues you do also get a kind of overhead shot of the gate of the bronze dragonfly area and this building is absolutely awesome i love the details on it kind of the dragons on the left and right of the door and the design on the door as well it looks really cool and the devs in the video were talking about how there's going to be an adventure here and hopefully we dive yeah, this more looks into amazing the kind of history of the dragon the art the Using art the of this of the door roof, the gate of the bronze dragonfly area it's and crazy. this building is absolutely awesome i yeah. love the details on it kind of the dragons on the left and right of it looks the like sand is coming and down the design on the door as well it looks really cool and the devs in the video were talking about how there's going to be an adventure here and hopefully now really i thought the bronze dragonfly we were going to see more of them from the uh, from the time walking uh not sorry from the caverns of time what's up dark yeah yeah i got you sorry um I thought we were going to go back to the Caverns of Time, but it's looking like we're actually going to go into here to do more with the Bronze Dragon Flight. This could be the entrance to, like, the first raid. We could be pug raiding here very soon, but this could be the first raid in the, uh in the new expansion we dive more into the kind of history of the dragon raid entrance. using the power of the bronze dragon flight to kind of look into the past and have a look at what happened uh you know thousands of years ago and stuff so i think that's gonna be a really cool back to the past uh, they seem pretty dungeons or raids are gonna be cool about it too so we now move into some shots of val draken which is the main city of uh, the Dragon Isles, and it looks like a very open city, a very outside city, which is really cool to see. Kind of similar designs to something like Dalaran, with the kind of tall spires and glasswork and Careful, things like did that, you get but the it invite? is very dragon-esque. I mean, this first shot, you could see a lot of those dra kind of dragonoid things. Uh, I think they were the ones from, like, uh, Blackwing Lair and things like that. They look like they've got a brand new model as there well, we which we will see also uh, again, but they look like the kind of guards of this area. Also, just kind of dragons hanging around. There's dragons on the roof, just kind of sleeping and sitting. There's dragons flying around the zone i think it's going to be such a cool aesthetically pleasing city just to stand yeah. in and watch it kind of happen and watch it just... and this this looks like it's got a it's a bit of a you know sun is going down this a bit of a night aesthetic here you can see you know some of the glow from some of the lanterns around here this city so far it looks cool i'm guessing this is the outer entrance you got two dragons up there and uh this is where you'd originally walk through i don't know what's behind us i feel like something more grand is directly behind us in this image you know, dragons flying around and all this kind of interaction and things, it's going to feel very immersive and very alive. And I'm really looking forward to seeing more of Val Draken as a city. Now, as mentioned in the promo as well, they were talking... I was going to say too, don't, um, don't undermine the importance of a hub city. We spend by far the most time in the hub city during an expansion. And if the hub city is shit, <coughs> or both, um, then it makes things not as fun, right? It just gives you like that shit vibe. I don't know. I don't like to be there. I don't like to be in the giant space still, though. So when you have a nice hub city to be in, it makes it just makes everything that much better. Kind of in the has a say, and it has a part of the zone they talk about the blue dragonfly having a library as you can see in this shot there's actually a troll yeah there's a random oh, yeah. troll just sitting there by that floating book there on the it's left like hand a mage side. Uh, and yeah as i said they talk about the kind of public library area. that the blue dragonfly have opened uh, and you get a good shot of that and then it moves into another shot of the red dragonfly kind of garden area that's how we have some of those kind of spore things i think they're originally from i want to say walls of drowner i'm not actually sure uh, where that model originated from but you can see those down uh, to the right of the tree there and of course the kind of like vine creatures as well that we've seen featured in 
pretty much every version yeah. of World of Warcraft. Yeah. Uh, just Those have of, been around uh, everything. Running around this area and making it feel a little bit more alive and pretty cool. But I do like the use of color here. Uh, you can see the red trees obviously representing the red dragonflight uh, very prominently. We get another shot here kind of going up some stairs and this is a better look at those dragonoid kind of creatures. Uh, on the left hand side the kind of guards of the area it looks like they are oh, different yeah. colors throughout the zone so you will see Very some cool. green ones some bronze ones red black etc uh, and this looks like a green one with a really cool looking sword actually i really like the look of that some sword. cool looking armor really nicely too. and honestly i kind of hope that this model here is kind of the bulkier uh drag there i think that would be really cool because this is like an awesome looking model and definitely something i would love to play uh also featured in this shot i think is this guy i think this guy is more beefy than the we looked at the uh, bulkier looking drag theory yesterday uh, this guy, you know, the bulky looking drag theory looks like he lifts, like he works out. This guy looks like he's, like he's a gym rat. I don't think we get to get, use this version of uh, of the drag theory. Again, yes, a fey dragon from Feralus, I believe, originally. And on the right hand side, some sort of toolbook dragon looking thing, which looks really fun. Nice, and hopefully Captain. Turns into Go a for it at some point. And I think this is a better look at the creature that we did see previously uh, in one of the earlier shots. We do go into another overhead shot of Valdraken here. You can see some other kind of different dragon guards down there uh, kind of walking and patrolling. It does look a little bit empty in regards to like game objects and things in the area, but this is probably an early shot of the city. Obviously yeah, everything here is, is kind of like enough. slowly being developed and whatnot. So I'd imagine over time, this is going to get kind of busier and, and better in, in all honesty. But I do love the design of the buildings and everything about it. Just yeah. It's super nice. And as I said, I just can't wait to kind of... The design of the buildings does give me... Um uh dalaran vibes a little bit but it's uh it's a pretty looking city i'll say i love the trees the grass give me give me more give me more natural nature explore it and see what's going on in the city um because i think it's gonna be one of the better ones we also get an image of the concept art for Tearhold uh, during the kind of promo that they were talking about Valdraken and uh, Thaldrassus. Uh, it looks pretty cool, but we also did get an in-game screenshot of Tearhold. Yes, Tearhold being the area that we saw in that epic cinematic oh, for yeah. Dragonflight. And in-game, it looks phenomenal. That. It really oh, does yeah. look really good. It's a little bit difficult to get a sense of scale here. Obviously, in the right, video and is, the cinematic... It looks this is where the uh, Stone Boy climbs up here and pulls these two uh, things together and shoots the beam out. That's right. I, I didn't connect that this was uh, that that from, spot from the cinematic. Absolutely massive. But in the screenshot, it does look a little smaller. But I think like once you get it into the game, you probably get a better idea of scale here. Uh, but I think it looks so awesome. I'm so impressed with how it looks in-game comparative to the cinematic. And again, I think there's going to be so many little details and tidbits inside Tearhold, which are going to be really, really cool to look at uh, in-game. Cool. So we really haven't had something like this. This kind of looks like a, you know, HD old war of sorts this kind of architecture is it something does we haven't seen HD probably since war. wrath of the Legend. high res all the final piece of promo video is actually a dragon riding promo where you do get a good shot of those aqueducts and the kind of area that alex Traza did swoop around during the cinematic so this is a great shot here lots of little missable details here on the right hand side yeah of there's kind the of dragon statues as i said a lot of flowing water a lot of bridges a lot of things like that and it does look very very cool and i can't wait to use my dragon riding skill to kind of swoop around uh, under these things up and over and whatnot and i hope the water interacts with my dragon riding as well just to get that kind of cool cinematic effect that we saw during the cinematic uh, with alex straza and finally we do have some promo images that were oh, released damn, of this Valdrasus is really nice. and Valdraken. so we have this one right here featuring those dragon statues once again again no ruins in sight really wow, just like a really nice really looking cool. image uh, of the area this is potentially just another red, entrance red to red dragon flight area now you kind of see the different side of this one with the next image uh, of Alex Straza, yeah, the, the Alex Straza yeah. model is featured right yeah. here, and it does look very, very cool. It looks very similar to the cinematic model that we did see. Uh, you also see those guards in the back as well, those kind of big, bulky kind of... The, the whole city looks very nice. The, I, I love how it just feels like elevated somewhat in the sky, and uh, it's got a lot of greenery. Guards, uh, for the red dragonflies, this is probably the red dragonfly area. You can see some red trees as well representing that red dragonfly area. And this is more than likely going to be a section of Valdraken. I don't think the Alex Traza model is going to be there in game, uh, but I do think they're just kind of using this area to show off that model. Uh, one cool thing as well I really like about this is the skybox. The skybox in the Dragon Isles looks super oh, cool. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to kind of seeing of the what they do with the nice. skybox because it is obviously Azeroth. Um, but I think they've kind of like up it and made everything look very, very nice. And honestly, yeah. with a good skybox, it makes the zone just 
ten times better. Oh yeah. And our final shot is of this area once again without Alex Straza. You got to get a better look at these big bulkier guards, and of course one on the right as well with four legs, which is oh really yeah, cool. this again, guy's got the four legs model. But uh, yeah, he was saying you know he hopes that the Drakthir have a bulky model like this. I think that's saved for these guards. I don't think the Drakthir get the the bulky boy. They get the the lift boy, but not the bulky boy. In the, the promotional video, so. Yeah, this is it. This is Thaldrassus and Valdraken. Two very, very cool very nice kind of zones. zones and cities. He has another that one that we're really gonna check out real quick. In the Dragon Isles. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know down below what you think of Thaldrassus and Valdraken. If I missed any details Beautiful uh, in this promotional thing as well, let me know. But uh yeah. Let me know which zone you want to see next as well. As I said, I've already done the Azura Span, so we do have a couple zones left, uh, and I really like doing these videos. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout-out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over oh, 3,000 members. And, as I said, I'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me stream World of Warcraft, patch 9.2.5, Dragonfly, yeah, Alpha Beta, Yeah, Rapplet, yeah, check Game them out. Player, I, I watch them all the stuff, time. Guys.